So I don't know how to start my videos other than saying all right or okie dokie or howdy folks. So if anyone has any ideas, let me hear them. Anyway, this video is going to be about pest management. You know, pest management is a really important aspect of agriculture because without pest management, we uh, lose yield. Um, we lose plants, which is yield. <coughs> Sorry. They um, just cause a lot of problems for us. So I'm going to show you a variety of things like um, rock chucks, some things we do for insects. Um, another part of pest management is weeds. Weeds are a pest. It is a bother. Um that we deal with in our fields. So I didn't really cover much of that, but uh, just in general, we weed our um, trial grounds by hand. So we go out there with hoes and we go up and down the rows and take the weeds out that are right around the peas because they suck up water and nutrients from the plant that um, we don't want them taking away. So uh, they also cause problems during harvest um, we also can spray herbicide, but we have not done that this year. We did spray insecticide. I'll go over that. Um, and hopefully you learn something and have some fun. So there you go. One more quick thing I forgot to mention on weeds. We do cultivate, which means we bring a tractor with a little implement on the back of it that has sharp edges. Um, and it basically smooths out the ground, chops the weeds out. Um, and then every time you water, it basically just makes all their weeds grow back. So how fun. Uh, but yeah, cultivating is another form of pest management. Okay, so one of our biggest pest problems, aside from um, weevils, is rock chucks. And I, we set out traps for rock chucks so we can, you know, kill them because they're butt heads. But I'll show you the traps we set and then the rock okay, chuck. So this little metal piece is a rock chuck trap. That hook, um, when the rock chuck goes through that so if its little head goes bink and hits that, those two tines it trips it that pops up and these splayed down um and then those just help it like prop open so it then traps it you can see the line where the chuck got trapped um so it triggered it snapped down um so that kills it and then we just get rid of them so that's a rock chuck and I'm editing this video right now, so another thing to add on the rock chuck traps, you set them where you can see the rock chucks are digging through somewhere. So if you looked in that video, you see like there's that log sitting there and then there's a hole under it. The rock chucks dug that out. And so we have a fence right there. We put posts in the fence where they've been digging out to block them from leaving those parts of the fence and concentrate it towards the parts that we left open with the traps in front of it. They like to eat peas so they can like totally take a number on um your pea field and it's pretty gross and they just they're gross so i just picked it up by its tail hopefully it doesn't detach um but yep yeah, just get rid of them and be on your way a little bit more background on the rock chucks we've caught i think six or seven this year um, and they're right by this wood pile, so they just like to habitate in places that give them lots of coverage. So we had a um, field next to a welding shop or a steel shop last year, um, and they just love to hide in those little pipes back there. So there was lots of rock chucks getting trapped in that field. Um, that's just how we take care of that problem. And then the other main pests we have is weevils or the leaf miner, not leaf miners, pea leaf weevils. And we just sprayed for those. Um, I'll show you guys how to read, not how to read, just what an insecticide label looks like because it's important to know like how long you have to wait to go into a field or what the active ingredient is or like what the purpose of the insecticide or herbicide is that you're spraying because if you spray an insecticide that isn't even useful for your problem then that's not cost efficient and it's not going to do anything so we will get into that next so this is a, an insecticide label your stick to use pe uh, pesticide it's called brigadier um i think this is the stuff i accidentally ate last summer 
oops so it's got some information on it you peel that to open i'm not going to open it because i can show you the rest of it on google but um it just has some warnings on it it has the active ingredients on this so you're not familiar with those names but i'm sure you could google them and find out what they are um uh here's the rest of the label so it's got some first aid stuff um if you swallow it you got to call the poison control uh, rinse out your eyes. It's got a hotline number. Um, just kind of showing you guys what's in a pesticide label. Like, look at all that. So, um, this tells you how to store stuff, general instructions, and then um, you spray this on different crops. So, there's going to be different instructions for different um so if you're planting leafy brassicas, uh, Brigadier controls these pests. It has a list and then it has the rate that you apply it at. So 6.1 fluid, fluid ounces for, per acre. So that is not a lot per acre. Like most of what you're seeing in a pesticide tank or spraying tank is water. Um, that is not a lot of chemical in that. So has personal protective equipment, shoes and socks, long sleeve shirt, long pants. Um, got the user safety recommendations. You don't chew gum. You can, you know, washing your hands is very important when you're handling these kinds of things, environmental hazards, agricultural use requirements. So this is where you find where you can enter the field after you spray. So this says, do not enter or allow worker entry into treated areas during the restricted entry interval, which is the REI of 12 hours. So after you spray- So just some more to add to that. I didn't like the video that I took first. Uh, so here's another one. The REI is important because you can't enter the field while the pesticide is like settling, you know, it's not gonna just go away right away. So. That gives you time to let the plant settle with the insecticide on it, let it do its work. Um, there's a lot more to the labels and we do pay attention to like what we're spraying for um, and then if it's registered in our state. So there's a lot to pay attention to on a label. If you have any more questions about that, drop a comment, let me know. All right, our next uh, pest problem is uh, pea leaf weevil. And these leaf weevils will munch on the leaves of the peas. Um, and I just found some peas with this problem. This is why we sprayed insecticide last week, um, was to hopefully control some of these. And we will be putting sticky traps out in our field um, to monitor how many insects we have going on out here. So I'll just show you what this looks like. All right, so you can see on this leaf, there is a little, it almost looks serrated. Like if it was around the whole leaf, more like that. It almost looks normal if you're not knowing what you're looking for. So those are little bites from insects. Um, you see this in other plants, it happens all the time. So we sprayed the insecticide that was specific to this problem and hopefully we won't see much more of this um, because that can cause problems with like just how the plants are growing, plant health. Um, here's some more of it. So. Hopefully that is a problem we have eliminated um, and won't see more of, but you never know. So we 